Hello there, my name is Vladimir. In this video, we're going to create animations with a Compi UI node system. And our basic will be based on the Civit AI from Inner Reflection AI, some guidance on the nodes, but we won't actually create or install Compi UI based on this. We'll do easy way. And I found the much easier way to install Comfy UI and another stable diffusion packages is by utilizing stable matrix because stable matrix it's allowed us to go and run all of these packages inside so for example if we really go, uh, click on add packages you notice right here we have all these different flavors of the stable diffusion and i will provide link down below on a video how you can install this but in a short words, it's very easy. You just follow the link for stable matrix going down here, run executable file, and this has allowed you to install it. it usually it's very going very smooth and nicely, but just in case if you have a problem, be sure to watch this video. It will have some tips and tricks how to avoid um, downfalls in some areas or how you can update some applications. And even this uh, package, Stable matrix is very nice. All what you need to do, just go and click launch. And after this, you'll notice you'll have it your running applications where you can kind of monitoring how it's work and also do all updates as well. Go ahead, download it models for control net, Laura, whatever you need it. It's actually very nice, beautiful central place. But because it's central place, it's also have it some pluses and minuses. So let me show you some of this. Right here, example, you can notice we have it, our stable matrix is enabled and it is have it several options. So let me collapse and you can see right here we have it packages. And if we're going in a packages, you'll notice we have a different, we have it comfy automatic 11.11, this one, comfy UI, and we have it some other stable um, web UI, some different, only three packages install for this uh, demo. But that will lead with uh, some additional problems. And one of these problems, it is models location. So for example, if we go to stability ma uh, matrix, you notice the models will be on the top and this is shareable ma uh, models or checkpoints. So it's meaning all of those installations will require just one place to share. However, if you have it something very specific to some packages that we need go install inside. And in some cases, it's can be confusing and it's what I want to share with you how to easy and where you should put it some of those models and the next beside install this Compi UI during the stable matrix we also want to install additional packages to this and if you scroll down you'll find these commands I will just copy and paste in the description those commands as well for you to easy to find and you want git clone inside those so what do you want to do we want to go inside our stability matrix matrix <laughs> matrix go into the packages comfy ui custom nodes so we can go inside the custom nodes in here we'll right click and we say open in terminal so after it's open our terminal we want to copy and paste those commands so then you're like git clone and so on after this install it you should have it these folders appear for you which will have it control net advance diff evolve matrix and video helper will leave it later but for now just you should have it all these three it's based from these three github installations after this we want to install checkpoints and here is a different going if you look on general like where it says comfy ui model checkpoints this is will going you want to copy those models in our main shared place on this installation. So when I say this shared place, okay, let's go down here and you'll notice you have it, your stable matrix, you have it models, and we go down to stable diffusion and they're going right here. If you have it other models, which says specify as a custom nodes, those ones will go specifically to the, um, Comfy UI, and we want to place them inside the packages, Comfy UI, custom nodes. And in this case, we'll go with a custom UI diff evolve and click on the models and you want to place them inside this folder. 
If you have it also like V, it will be same things comfy. So this is will be our global. This is will be specific to comfy UI packages. And another ones, if you have a control net, you can also use it global installation for the control net as well. Here's a fund one time was problem. Sometimes some file may be locked or anything. And for this, I recommend install additional tool from the Microsoft. It's called Power Toys, which allowed you to control, see what file lock, what folder or other things. It's actually helped me install this additional kind of plugin extensions. Helped me a lot to debugging and see what's going on or which file locking, what directory and everything and find out what's going on there. And as we speak about other applications, I highly recommend to that FFmpeg. We're going to use this to split files or combine them together and animations. And as long as you're installing third parties or other applications, Visual Code use it quite a bit heavily for many different, like a ROOP and other system uh, for when we create with stable diffusion. So also be sure you just install because it will utilize some dynamic libraries, DLLs to work with other codes. So this is just, as we're speaking, three external applications. They're not necessarily required, but it will make much, much easier your life. After we installing those um, libraries, checkpoints and everything, we are ready to experiment. So what I'm going to use again, thanks for uh, providing this information. So we're going to take this basic uh, JSON text to video and just go and save this file. And here is example, I just saved this file. All what we need to do is just drag and drop file on the top. And you can see nice things about this. It will replace with all nodes. If some of these nodes become very, it's red because they're not find or downloaded. This is the reason why we install our manager. And as you click on a manager, you'll notice come up with the interface where you can click on install custom nodes, or you can click install missing nodes. In this case, nothing is missing. So let's go click on install custom nodes right here. You'll notice I have it already some nodes in install it, or you can go ahead and install additional as you need it. And of course we can have it update or comfy. After this installation, those nodes should appear and you'll see them correctly. Next, let's look potential problem. You may have it like right here where is a node specified with name. And let me show you different what's happening here. For example, I know this path is incorrect because it says Z.1 animate this. And we'll click on quite a prop and you will have it this problem. Usually if this error come up, it is says did not find checkpoint. It's used for example, and for example, in this example, it's using those checkpoints in the VIA. And if it does not find, you need to be sure it's located in the right directories. We always can check these directories if you click and you can go to um, open the where it's located. Or in this case, I can open and I know this is was using Doc. So it's just so we'll select and now it's have it correct name. Same with the um, view, for example, one I was using, it's a safe sensor. And instead it was looking by the, again, by the example was using on CKPT on the checkpoints and you can change this as well. The one thing you use a demo, it's kind of helpful because it, you can look, learn by example, see what's going on. For example, how many frames, what with height information here, we have it, our image created also our um, clip prompt and information. And I think this is already, we're going ahead and click Q parameter in this already seems like start working just fine. And we can open our stability matrix and see right here in output what's going on. And it seems like we have it our frames and it's processing zero from one. So I'm going to pause this video till animation is completed. Okay, and right here we have it, our animations that you can also download it in a folders output in your um, comfy UI or in this case, um, stability matrix folders. You can see it's created very nice, um, nice non flicker animations. I'm really impressed. And one thing keep in, in mind that your animation may change on depend what model it's using and how it's work. Well, thanks for watching this video. And actually, before you click off, one thing I want to mention again, big thanks to Inner Reflection AI for providing all this information. And I will 
ask you if possible going down right here on the down down below you'll notice he have his youtube channel if you can go watch his youtube channel subscribe as a youtube creator this is the probably biggest thanks you can provide by supporting our work thank you again and have a great